Hi, this is Michael from Barista Next Door, and today I'm going to do a quick review of the La Pavoni Euro Piccola. The La Pavoni Euro Piccola comes with one group pad with two filter baskets, an automatic milk frother for cappuccinos, and a plastic tamper. Out of the two filter baskets that are delivered with the Euro Piccola, one of them is supposed to be used as a single shot basket and the other one is supposed to be used as a double shot basket. However, the single shot basket is pretty small and about 90% or 90 even 99% of the people who use the Euro Piccola are not using that basket at all as it will not make it very easy for you to or maybe even possible to extract a single shot with that. That leaves us with the double shot basket. And the issue with this basket is that it's also very very difficult to extract a double shot with that basket. Which is why most people are using that basket for a single shot. That's not a drama at all. However, you have to consider that with the Euro Piccola, most of the time you'll only be able to extract one shot at the time. Once you've filled your filter basket with your espresso grinds, you can then put the group head into the machine and tighten it. <laughs> like this. And one thing that is noteworthy, noteworthy about the Euro Piccola is that the group hand handle actually tightens to the left hand side as opposed to every other espresso machine where it tightens to the right hand side. This takes a bit of getting used to but at the end of the day it doesn't really make any uh, difference when you make your espresso. Next on you raise the handle of the espresso machine here right to the top and then the piston will fill the group head with water. This process is called pre-infusion and it will all already extract a few uh, solubles in the coffee. After about 5 seconds you then slowly start to um, push the handle down and extract your espresso shots and this is the time when you see the first drips of coffee coming out of here and hopefully you get a nice dark brown stream of coffee flowing out of your group head. Now that we've covered the basics of using the Euro Piccola, let's quickly talk about whether it's easy or difficult to actually extract an espresso with it. If you are a beginner, I would actually say don't get yourself a Lapaboni um, leather machine as with these machines nearly all of the variables are left to the user to influence. So it gives you a lot of room to play with and experiment but if you don't know what you're doing this might not be the right machine for you. So if you want to extract a great espresso shot but you don't really know much about coffee yet or how to use an espresso machine, this might not be the right machine for you. If you're on an intermediate level, this machine can actually be a lot of fun because you'll start to, to learn and appreciate how to extract an espresso shot and um, you'll get to play with a lot more variables than with a, a regular espresso machine. Before I bought the Euro Piccola, I was researching it on the internet and one thing that popped up nearly everywhere was a problem with frothing the milk with a machine. A lot of people said for them it was virtually impossible to froth really good milk with that machine. I actually didn't really want to believe in that and I ordered the machine anyway and just was waiting to see what happened. When I got the machine I was really surprised to see that with the factory settings it is nearly impossible to create some great micro foam. Um, so why is that? I found out, or <laughs> a lot of other people before me already found out, that it is the steam tip that is the major issue here. The steam tip is, it has three holes in it, which are all pointing in very different directions, and they make it really difficult, especially at the angle that the steam wand is attached to the machine, to frothy milk. They'll always create some big bubbles, and it will be difficult to integrate your milk properly. However, it is very very easy to attach a new steam tip to the machine and it is also quite affordable. If you're wondering how to do that, you can check out my, my video on how to change the Pavoni steam tip in which I take you through the process step by step and you'll see the difference that it makes when it comes to frothing the milk by changing this steam tip. As a conclusion, I have to say that I'm really in love with this espresso machine. Previously I've um, I've mentioned a few things that are not ideal, however, if you know how to work around them or fix them, 
You can have a lot of fun with this espresso machine. Just a noteworthy thing is that I wouldn't recommend it to uh, beginners as it can be very frustrating if you don't know what kind of variables you're dealing with when um, getting to the perfect espresso shot. However, if you're intermediate or any level above that as when it comes to your coffee skills, I would really recommend giving this espresso machine a try and testing it over a long time because then you'll actually have a lot of fun with this machine. That is all from me today and I'll see you soon.